quadratic forms are functions that can be rewritten as x transpose times a times x, where a is a symmetric matrix. So, given the matrix A, we can find the quadratic form. And given the quadratic form, it is also easy to find the matrix, as we will see in the examples in this video. Furthermore, we will look at the level curves of our quadratic form. While well, usually it is very difficult to sketch level curves of multivariable functions, but if you have a quadratic form, this often becomes easier, as you will learn in this video as well. So let's start with some matrix A, some matrix matrix A, and let's try to find the quadratic form f of x1 and x2. So we compute x transpose times a times x. Well, let's do the, uh, this part over here first. So we copy the x1 and x2 over there. Use the row column rule. So 2x1 minus 3x2 goes in the first component. Minus 3x1 plus 5x2 goes in the second component over there. And then we compute the final product x1 times this term plus x2 times that term. Uh, and there we have our quadratic form. And now you recognize that you can actually write down this quadratic form immediately. So, because how do you get the matrix and how do you get the quadratic form? Well, the 2 and the 5, the diagonal elements come here for the x1 squared and the x2 squared. So, 2 and the 5 give you a 2x1 squared and a 5x2 squared. And what happens with the mixed terms? So the x1, x2 term, the minus 6, is actually shared between the off-diagonal elements. So both off-diagonal elements get the minus 3, and uh, together they form the minus 6, x1, x2. So if you have a, a matrix, you can immediately write down what the quadratic form is. First, usually you pick the diagonal elements, and then you look at the off-diagonal elements. Now let's try to do this vice versa. So we have some f, and now we want to find the quadratic form. Now, you see we have the diagonal elements, the 2x1 squared, the minus 1x2 squared, and the 5x3 squared. So we do those first. What do we have as off diagonal elements? We have a 6x1, x2 that has to be shared between the 1, 2, and 2, 1 places. So they both get a 3 over there. And we have a minus 3 uh, x1 times x3. This minus 3 has be to be shared between the 1, 3 and the 3, 1 play places. So both get a minus 3 over 2. And what about the 2, 3 term? Well, there is no x2, x3, so those get a 0. So there you have your matrix A. So you see, if you have your quadratic form, you can immediately write down what your matrix A is and vice versa. Let's try now to make some sketches. So we have a G, uh, I want, uh, Y1 and Y2 uh, without mixed terms, for now. So we have a 6Y1 squared plus a Y2 squared. Now first, find an A such as uh, G's uh, Y transpose times A times Y. Well, that's easy. We have a 6 over here for the Y1 squared and a 1 over there for the Y2 squared. And we have no off diagonal, uh, no mixed terms, so no off diagonal terms. So our matrix A uh, becomes, in fact, a diagonal matrix. And now, if we have a diagonal matrix uh, for our quadratic form, the sketching also becomes doable often. So what happens if we try to sketch? Well, we have 6y1 squared plus y2 squared is then some constant. Uh, and you recognize this as the equation of an ellipse. So I put here the graphs for g equals 1 and g equals 4. So, for example, 6y1 squared plus y2 squared equals 1. Uh, then you have an ellipse intersecting the y2 axis here at the point 1 and the y1 axis at the point 1 over squared of x, uh, 6. So there you go. Uh, if you have a quadratic form without mixed terms, your matrix be becomes diagonal. And then it's relatively easy to switch its level sets.